Hey, hey, you know who this is, Apex Comics, yes, oh, ex I just want to say, excuse the glare, Linda Blair, but we may have <laughs> some glare, <laughs> oh, Lord, okay, shut up and open the box, Apex, yes, I shall do that, <laughs> hope everyone's doing it good on a thrilling Friday, I have an idea what this inside here. I have a very good idea. And it may surprise you. It may reinvigorate an industry that's been popular in the 90s that are now slowly coming back. And I think I know what I'm... I think I know I sense what I'm talking about. <laughs> I sense it. Can we get some scissors? Greg, Gray Man, pass me the scissors. No, Gray Man's not here. He's not in Texas. He's in... He's in England. Good old London town. All right. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, we got a nice thick bag. It's holding these really cool books. I think I know what's in here. I think I know what's in here. Oh, mercy. All right. Ah. Holy mackerel. Hell yeah. Okay, ash cans, folks. This is what I'm talking about, ash cans. Ash cans are actually were created... Um, I believe the first ash can I've seen, that I've heard of, was Action Comics number one. Because they want to put a copyright on the product before they actually produced it. So that's the reason for ash cans, to actually get that copyright put in that they're protected. And uh, why they call them ash cans is they actually destroyed the copies of ash cans after they're promoted, like Action Comics number one. A lot, of them were, a lot of them were destroyed, but some of them have been uncovered years later. And they've been selling on the market for like a lot of money. This is the, of course, Wildstar ash can. I think Jerry Ordway is the creator of that. And we got Grendel. Ash can. We also have, oh yeah, got the Queens of Halloween Ash can with uh, uh, Witchblade, Vampirola, and Lady Death. Of course, that's uh, Harris Comics. Yeah, it's Michael Turner. Damn, Michael Turner worked. God rest his soul. And we have American Gods, Neil Gaiman, American Gods, Ashcan, Dark Horse. These are beauties. We also have the War Machine Ashcan edition from 1994. And these, some of these are like between $2 and, and $4. It's not bad. And of course we got, well, it's 75 cents. This is like a couple of bucks. It's not bad. We get the Amazing Spider-Man Ashcan. They're basically promotional materials, ash cans are. A lot of times ash cans can be a self-contained story. Not very many, but some of them can be. But uh, I don't know, which ones do you guys want to... I'm going to go ahead and choose for a short. Actually, I think Grendel kind of... Very intriguing cover. So with Matt Wagner. Advanced Comics. I remember, remember the Advanced Comics magazine they put out in the early 90s. This is really great. So let's kind of crack this bad boy open. See what we reveal. It's kind of a nice... There's some pages in here. But this is a well-produced ash can. Some nice glossy pages. Very classy. Look at that. It's brilliant. Not not you want, not one of those cheapo ash cans you may see. Those homemade ones. I'll do like homemade ash cans. They have a nice certain style of their own a certain um let's say a little a little strange quality or you know something you don't really see too very often but this obviously there's a team behind this one there's a team of people good lord you have dark horse comics of course they're one of the major independent comic book producers they're still going fairly strong nowadays but this this is from 1993 it's a forward. Uh, I think Matt Wagner wrote the forward. I'm not sure, but damn, this is like 
well produced. I like looking at Ashkent to see how they actually produce them. This looks like a good 16 to 20 pages, man. I don't count how many. All right, cover, cover, entire cover, inside and outside, it's four pages. You got one, two, three. Good gourd. Some sticks together. Okay, four, five, right? Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, oh, oh my gosh. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21. So all together, so, oh, this is nice. It's almost a wraparound cover. Not quite a wraparound, but it looks, it appears like it could be. So it's about 24 pages, including the cover. If you look at different print shops, they have different prices, of course. The more pages you print, the more it's going to cost. But you produce more of a volume. Let's more copies. You can actually save some copies per book. So it depends on what kind of deal you cut with a printer. But uh, so I can take a look at one of my own ash cans. Let me shoot. Let me grab one real quick. Um, as I was saying, ash cans are can be cheaply produced. Let me see. I'm going to shoot for some great. Okay. Let's just, well, I'm going to pull a different one. All right. This one was, you know, fairly inexpensive to, to produce. You could produce one on your, on a copy machine. If you get a good quality of ink and your paper, decent quality. This is one from, this is, huh, before I put the X on, Apex Comics uh, Group, yeah, $1.25. This was produced back in 2003. I know I've undercut myself on the price. You know, I should have charged at least like $2 for it. But this is back in 03. Look at that. This pays homage to Daredevil uh, number issue number 145 cover. It's inspired me to do this one. This is a Succubus of Liberty. All right. Apex presents Apex Graphics. Actually, this is my my uh, publishing business title right Apex graphics you must spell graphics I took the artistic liberty to spell it differently that's all I did so this was like a 16 pager right this goes into the, a future story this is like a companion piece to the femme fatale book that I did back in the 90s I'm slowly res doing a resurgence of femme fatale uh, introduction uh, to one of my upcoming uh, Indiegogo projects. I'll not say what it is, but you'll find out. It's pretty cool, right? Has a little ad in the back cover, and of course the hand of God. Yes, there you go. All right, this is uh, this is more inexpensive from an independent guy, a one-man comic book company, which is me. Then you have uh, a zine here called Rapscallion. This is basically a zine that advertises different zines or different publications. I thought it was really cool. It has the different articles in here. Zines are great. They're really popular in the 90s. And they're making a somewhat of a resurgence in their popularity. Well, ever since the... Uh, well, even before the COVID outbreak and stuff... So yeah, get to see some really good. This is uh from my executor. They said, let's see, here we go. There's executor. Okay, here. Oh, so watcher was it? Yeah, executor one is me, right? Apex graphics. I was in Seattle at the time. Yeah, two dollars prepaid. 
Francis Stonelli watched his brother die as the costume executor. He vows vengeance against those responsible. The executor uses a plethora of gadgets to battle, uh, to battle justice or injustice. It's kind of cut off there. Femme Fatale, which is my book. All right. Superheroines battle armored foes from the future. The metal menaces travel to the past to kill Oliver, now a boy, who grows up to do some bad things. Ooh, and let's not forget the mysterious psychologist Amanda Matoya. Just how is she curing the criminally insane? There you go. This is uh, a good rap scallion. They do they do uh, reviews on different uh, comics and magazines. Little ads for comic shops. It's pretty cool inside of a zine. So zines are actually you're homemade like anything else. Ash cans can be homemade like this one. And of course, if you have a big publisher like Dark Horse, you can produce a very well slick um, ash can. So there you have it. Let's go for a shorter uh, version of an ash can. Not, not as many pages as this one. This is what you would call a giant size ash can with more than 20 pages. I'm sure this is considered a giant size ash can. There should be at least a few pages. I'd say minimum of 8 to 12 pages. It could be much, many more pages. Well, not many, but a few more. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, speaking of which, here we go. It's a little bit of a promotion time. Let's get down to business. Please go on Indiegogo and look for Tales of Zero. Tales of Zero on Indiegogo by Purple Smurf 13 and another artist. And so they're producing a book here. On a crowdfunding project, I did the wraparound cover. Uh, please support my wraparound cover. If you buy, um, if you purchase any any uh, book of uh, Tales of Zero, it could be my cover, it could be any other variant cover you want. Uh, you get after this week, uh, before the weekend is over, you be able to get a free ash can of a Tales of Zero story. More of an upbeat, awesome adventure action story. It's more fun, uh, fast-paced ash can that I'm going to draw. Uh, PS13 is going to do the script. And so there you have it. Go into go go today and support this book. We'll be glad you did. And you'll not be sorry. It's because we will produce it for you. We'll deliver it to you. Absolutely. This is, you know... I've produced books before, and I'll be working with a very reputable uh, Purple Smurf 13. So, and, you know, they're, they're great guys. All right, thanks. All right, back to business. Here we go. Let's get to, uh, yeah, everyone likes Spider-Man, right? Well, let's go ahead and crack this one open. Let's see what Marvel did back in the early 90s with their Spider-Man. Yeah, it's, it used to be 75 cents in a comic shop, of course, or worth more than that now because printing prices have actually increased there you go from the desk of danny fingeroth dang he's like a former senior editor a spider-man group editor yeah got that so okay we're going to, oh it's how it all began of course yeah how did what's the origin of spider-man uh, that's been that's been uh showing up more too often but there you go this is the early 90s some people may not know with this about spider-man but what the heck it's all good all right yeah you get the enemy section you get the little synopsis i'd say spider-man has a terrific rogues gallery you know since batman Batman and Spider-Man have the best rogues gallery of villains. It's great. Looks like Mark Bagley work. Oh, it looks like, I don't know if it's Eric Larson or... It's more like Larson, I think. But, yeah. Well, Stephen Grant and Salbusima. Oh, Tom Lyle and Scott Hanna, yeah. Of course, you got Howard Mackey writing it. Yeah, look at that. Spider-Man Classics, featuring Spider-Man's greatest battles. 
it's you know basically a that's well, an ad at the same time it's you're introducing back the character and you have a nice little cover right here very cool all right everyone this is uh well you know what let's go and go do one more while we Let's do, uh, actually, he's American Gods. This is a somewhat of a thick one. I don't know when to end this video. <laughs> Who cares? Let's keep going. Let's capture everyone's attention. Yes. All right. This is from uh, Dark Horse again. It's slick. It's, uh, you know, well-produced. This goes right into the story. Oh, there you go, a little synopsis. I'm just going to actually look how many. That's a lot of panels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 11 panels on this page. This is kind of different. Nice vertical panels here. Sorry about the glare, Linda Blair. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. It's a nice layout, so I really like this. Very sweet. This could be a 12 pager. I'm deciding to add additional pages to the Tales of Zero Ashcan. Uh, four additional pages for like um, character designs, uh, maybe a pinup, and you know, some, some extra stuff there. Yeah, from American Gods. I think uh, AMC is doing an American Gods TV show. They've been doing it, I think, the last two seasons or so. And you get to, you get to actually pimp your own products at the very back. Let's pimp our products, shall we? Yeah. What was a nice back cover? A little Jack's Diner. It's pretty cool. From the Neil Gaiman. Neil Gaiman. Gaiman. Tomato, tomato. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce his name. I think it's Neil Gaiman. Yeah. Jack's Diner. Cool. Back cover. I like that. All right. There's more. But I only have maybe so much time to actually reveal what's going on. There you have it. Different types of ash cans, zines, and basically promotional material. It's all cool, everybody. Yeah, let's group them together. And, of course, as always, please like, subscribe, ring bells for notifications, share this video. Tell all your friends and family to come to Apex Comics and enjoy themselves and watch some real cool stuff. Ciao for now.